Hey guys, I was doing my devotionals this morning and I came across a quote from Peter that I just can't shake and I thought to myself, am I going to go there? Am I really going to go there? And you know what? I am going to go there because it needs to be gone there. In 1 Peter 2.17, it says, exercise your freedom by serving God, not by breaking the rules. Americans, don't get it twisted, okay? This nation was founded upon in God we trust. So don't let anybody take, Christians don't let anybody take your right to serve God away from you, your right to proclaim God away from you. You know what? Don't misinterpret your freedom. Don't misinterpret the fact that it's more exciting and there's more of an adrenaline rush in breaking the rules as a Christian by sinning, by partying, by slandering people, and by living life the way you want. Because really, there's not much excitement and not much adrenaline rush found in that because everybody in their brothers doing that. It's common. It's more normal to do that than it is to live for God. So there's not much adrenaline found in that. Adrenaline rush is found from something that's not as safe. Adrenaline rush and excitement is found from something that's a little bit dangerous. And you know what? Going against the current of something is more of a rush and more exciting than it is to flow with the current of something. So you need to understand, you need to exercise your freedom in going against the current and serving God, proclaiming his love, proclaiming the power of Jesus Christ to change you. There's more adrenaline and more excitement in that. You know, I want to read this to you real quick because I found this in my devotions. It's in Psalm 83 verses 2 through 7. It says, your enemies are out there whooping it up. The God haters are living it up. They're plotting to do your people in, conspiring to rob you of your precious ones. Let's wipe this nation from the face of the earth, they say. Scratch Israel's name off the books. And now they're putting their heads together, making plans to get rid of you. You know what? The God haters are out there living it up, trying to get us Christians to shut up. They don't want anybody to say anything about God and Christ. But if there's anything to do with any other religion out there, they can proclaim their beliefs. They can proclaim their standards. But if we try to proclaim our beliefs and our standards, we're told to shut up. You know, it says on here that they're trying to wipe the, na uh, the nation from the face of the earth saying, let's scratch Israel's name off the books. You know what? We're messing with Israel. We're attacking Israel. We're coming against Israel. Woe to the man that does that because God is behind that nation and there's danger in that that's not cool to go against God and then it goes on to say they're putting their heads together making plans to get rid of God you know what this nation's already taken God out of schools already taken prayer out of schools already taken in God we trust trying to take in God we trust completely out of the nation you know what I think you tell me what's more exciting right now going with the current and doing what everybody else is doing or going against the current and being a little bit dangerous being a little bit exciting flowing against the current with God the creator I don't know what you want to do but I want to challenge you God has called you to be a world changer not a world chaser so what are you going to do what's more exciting for you how are you going to exercise your freedom today I don't know about you but I'm not going with the current of man I'm going to flow against the current I'm going to go with my creator the one that breathed breath in my lungs so I'm leaving you with this challenge today what's it for you today world changer or a world chaser. Think about it.